Hello and welcome to your chair yoga flow. Today's chair yoga will be gentle flow. It will be a joint churning a series of postures. So bringing new blood flow into the joints, just gentle stretch. So really terrific if you're finding yourself sitting a lot at a desk. Um, I recommend a sturdy chair, probably better not to be on a soft, cushy couch. And we'll start with some breath practice. Sitting up nice and tall, long in the spine. Soften your gaze and let's bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. And we'll start with a cleansing deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. We'll shift to nasal breath in through the nose out through the nose filling the belly so feel your hand move as your belly expands feel your hand move as your lungs and chest expand and then reverse that back out so nice inhale You might start to opening. We'll do two more. down just to sit comfortably check in are you holding tension somewhere so relax the shoulders relax the neck just relax in the abdomen and I'll be mirroring you so when I say use your right leg I'll be using the op my opposite leg so that it feels the same to you we'll start with doing some leg extensions so left leg extend, just waking up the joints, right leg extend, and one more. Nice, just kind of wiggling those toes. Now extend the right leg and actually point and flex, point and flex. Beautiful, just wake the ankle up, point and flex, and then we'll turn the joint. So turning in circles one way, Beautiful, remembering our breath, we just practiced three part breath, so still continuing with that beautiful deep breath. Lovely circle the other way. Maybe there's some clicks and cracks happening in the ankle and the foot. That's great, we're waking it up, we're getting new blood flow into the joint. Pause and wiggle your toes. Lovely. And then let's extend that. We're going to invite the calf into this circle. So we're circling kind of at the knee, but just moving it around. You might notice your quadriceps start to heat up because you're sitting nice and tall and you have to engage those stabilizing muscles in your core. So this is a good core workout even though we're barely sitting stable and not doing a lot of active movement, we're really isolating each joint. Nice, bringing that all the way around. Lovely. Now we're going to use that right hip. So we want to lift the knee up and around, up and around. So we're churning the joint of the hip. And noticing that heating up of the muscle as we isolate and engage the core. You'll be noticing those quadriceps heating up. Beautiful pause, go the other direction. Nice, 
legs and I have an active foot so it's actively engaged bringing that beautiful circling of the hip noticing the heating up of the muscle as we sit stabilized beautiful circling around around lovely pause Ooh, I can feel that Let's extend the leg again and windshield wiper the foot. So this is just pivoting the hip bone in the hip socket with a pivot. So just like your foot is the windshield wiper going back and forth. Lovely. Still breathing the breath. Awesome. And lower that foot down. Now let's take both feet up and point and flex. Nice point and flex. I've just got my hands gently on the edge of the chair just as a balancing so it can stay nice and long in the spine. Alternated points. Bringing the breath. Notice that core muscles are engaged. So this will actually start to get your heart rate going. And you haven't even moved off your chair. So this is lovely to incorporate into your yoga practice. Lowering the feet and extending the left leg now. So we'll circle the ankle joint churning so getting new blood flow into the joint Lovely. nice little just feeling that heel waking up getting blood flow in there this is great if you've been having your feet maybe have been swelling a bit lately this is good to get the blood flow going it's a great idea to do this in bed before you even get out of bed. Nice, starting to notice perhaps that quadricep warming up as it's having to stabilize. Nice point and flex. Now we'll start engaging at the knee, so circling with the calf. So you, this is a good charge it up. You feel that heat start to build in the quadricep. Nice breathing. Lovely in the other direction. You can pause anytime you need to pause and then come back and join me. just pause and we're going to engage at the hip now so I've still got my hands just gently holding the edge of the chair for balance so that I can stay nice and long in the spine and I'm going to lift the knee up and around so churning at the hip joint so my foot is still active and I'm lifting the knee up and around feeling some clicks in the hip as you wake that joint up and feeling that heat in the quadricep. Nice. Pause and we'll go the other direction. And just do whatever's comfortable for your body. If this is a posture that doesn't resonate with you, then you can pause and just invite some other movements with the feet and legs, just sort of warming those joints up. But hopefully you can manage. Nice, feeling that heating up. Beautiful pause. Ooh. Nice, now we're going to again extend those legs out and point and flex. So alternate point and flex. Nice breathing. And windshield wiper. Let's do both legs, make sure to wipe for the feet. Back and forth, just twisting in the hip joint. Nice, we're gonna lower the right foot and keep windshield wipering with the left. So 
just turning that joint in the hip socket. And then we'll pause. Beautiful. Let's take a nice deep breath. Now we'll inhale and rise up with the arms. And then exhale forward fold. So your belly's coming right down onto your thigh. And then just allow the hands to come down. Maybe they'll reach the floor, maybe not. Everyone's uh, composition of body is different. I have long arms, so mine reach. Don't worry if yours don't. Relax the head and neck. And breathe. Beautiful. Slide the hands up to the knees. Lower the shoulders. Lean forward from the heart, so leading from your heart forward, hinging from the hips, just waking up the spine, and then back up to seated straight. I'm going to show you that from the side. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, forward fold, leading with the heart down onto your knees. Lovely. Breathe, relax the head. And then slide the hands up to the knees and lead with the heart. So feel that nice engagement of the spine. Beautiful. And then come all the way up. Shifting now to our wrist. So we'll extend our right arm out and start circling from the wrist. So we have our right arm out. Right, you've got it forward. Make sure your shoulder is engaged. So you're not reaching with that shoulder. You lock that shoulder in, and then we're circling the wrist. So you don't want to extend the arm right out. You want it tucked in, lock that shoulder in, and then invite. So that's helping stabilize and keeping your shoulder engaged. This is joint churning, so we're churning now the wrist. And then the other direction. Lovely. Now let's involve the elbow. So we're just bringing it around, just gentle turning, bringing some movement into the joint. Lovely. Keeping that shoulder stabilized. Other direction. And then we're going to windmill the arms. So I'm going to reach straight forward and then down and around, circling the arm. So bringing new blood into that shoulder joint. so you can see me, so that your arm is straight out, palm down, and then rotate palm up. So we're doing a little joint churning in the shoulder socket, just rotating the shoulder. So the arm will start to get fatigued because you're, it's holding up, so you're working. Your core is engaged to keep you nice and long in the spine and supporting the movement. Remembering to breathe. Lovely, and then lower that arm down. Probably that arm feels a bit tired. Now we'll extend our left arm out, tuck that shoulder into the shoulder socket, and then invite some wrist circles. Sitting up nice and tall in the spine, feet are planted firmly on the ground, and remembering your breath. In the other direction. Lovely, invite 
inviting the elbow into the turn now, so trying at the elbow, inviting some circling of the arm, just gently. Remember to breathe, keeping your core engaged, keeping your shoulder in place, no reaching, just keep it in place. Nice, circle the other direction. Warming up those joints, getting new blood flow in there. Lovely. Now we'll windmill the arms, so back, down, and up and around. Just slowly at first. Don't want to make it in a windstorm. We want it just gentle, oscillating the arm, bringing new blood flow all into the shoulder. That feels great. Be beautiful stretch. and go the other direction. Still sitting up nice and long in the spine, bringing your breath, chin is parallel with the floor, feet are planted firmly. These are great postures if you're working in an office and you need to just stretch it out. Awesome. I'm going to turn so you can see stick. Extending your arm out to the side now, palm down and sitting up nice and tall, rotating in the shoulder socket. So just rotating in the socket. Beautiful, new blood flow into that shoulder, that feels lovely. Maybe the arm is starting to get a little fatigued. Right? It's been working hard and you're still engaging the core. Beautiful, and pause. Now we'll shift, we're still sticking with the arms, but we're going to try our teacup arms. So this is kind of a fun challenge. For keeping your palm up, we're going to lift the arm up, keeping your palm up like there was a teacup sitting on it and then circle out and behind, so behind your head, keeping your palm up, coming around in front of your head, and then we need to just tilt forward and circle that arm in and around. I'll try it from the side, see if that helps. So straight up, away from the body, over the head, coming back down in front and then circle fingertips in towards the body. Straight up, around, keeping your palm up, fingertips away from the body, fingertips into the body. Beautiful, get your kids to try this or your hubbies. See how coordinated they can be and if they're going to spill their tea. <laughs> I don't think I recommend trying it with an actual cup of tea. <laughs> Discloser. <laughs> I feel that could be risky, but this is a really great joint churner. Lovely. I'm going to switch to the other hand now. So left hand straight up. Fingertips away from the body. Circle your hand. Palm up over your head. Come forward in front of your body and then reach and bring the palm into the body and out straight from the front. Straight up, round, reach, circle in. Beautiful joint, joint turner for the shoulder. There go around, reach. In, circle in, lovely, up, palm away, goes back over your head, fingertips come around, now they're facing forward, and then reach, fingertips into the body, one more time, up, and away and around, beautiful, and then keeping that palm up, circling in, Lovely, good job. 
So that's our teacup arm. So that's a good one to practice anytime, especially like it's good to warm your joints up before you just go straight into that. Uh, but it really is a fun one to try to get things moving. Let's look a little, let's spend a little time on the core. So we want to do a little cement mixer. So we're going to extend the belly out and then almost like you've got a spatula in a jar of peanut butter that you're scraping, bringing the belly button all the way in and then around. So churning at the hips, bringing the breath, exhale as you crunch in, inhale as you reach belly button out and then tuck it in and scrunch it in. So this is a really good core uh, churning posture. So we're just bringing some beautiful movement into the hips. And we're engaging in the core, gently squishing those internal organs. And that's going to help release built up toxins inside. So all our body's organs are working away and they build toxins as they're cleaning the body. And then we do these beautiful postures to help encourage the release of those toxins. And that helps keep our organs healthy and functioning correctly. And it doesn't need to be a fast fluid motion. It can be just nice and slow, bringing the breath, inhaling out, exhaling around. Beautiful pause and other direction. Beautiful abdominal churn, nice crunch, getting those abs engaged, the core muscles engaged, strengthening the lower spine. One more full time around. Lovely, and then come back to stillness. Checking in on our shoulders and neck, where we tend to hold a lot of tension. I can speak for myself, that's my tension place, and headaches can often build up from tension in the neck. And it's an interesting thing for myself when I do neck stretches that I think, oh, why don't I do that more often? Because it feels so good. So let's inhale. And then just gently turn our head, keeping our chins level and turn to the right. Don't torque your neck, just pause where you start to feel the tightness and then pause for a breath. Inhale back to center and exhale over to your left. Inhale back to center and pause. Our next inhale will see us exhale our chin going down to the chest and then J over to the right. Such a lovely stretch. Keep your shoulders down and away from the ears. Pause here for a breath. Unj back to neutral. Inhale. Chin down to chest and J over to the right, or sorry, left. Breathe. We want to pause in this stretch, just allow that connective tissue to release and help deepen the stretch. Lovely, inhale and exhale, chin to the sky. neutral inhale turn your head to the right and then tilt your chin towards the sky and pause lower the chin back to center turning your 
head to the left, inhale, and exhale, turn your chin, just let your chin tip to the sky. Lower the chin and come back to neutral. We'll finish our chair practice with our Lotus Mudra. So inviting you to bring your hands together at heart center. So Anjali Mudra, hands together in prayer, thumbs into sternum, and then our Lotus Flower blooms. So pinky and thumbs connect as fingers extend out. And here's our beautiful Lotus Flower. So I invite you to put your intention for today in there. Maybe your intention is that you're going to think positive thoughts all day and that's going to come into your heart and it's going to overflow to everyone around you. So something really positive you're going to tuck in there. Hand comes together on Jolly Mudra and then extend arms straight out. Open the palms up. Here's today's story. Bring lots of love back to your heart. And then allowing the backs of the hands to connect, fingertips go down to the ground and away from the body. Beautiful shoulder rotation. Taking your right hand over your left, clasping your fingers, and allowing the clasped fingers to come down towards the earth and in towards your heart. Beautiful, lower your shoulders and breathe. Fingertips down towards the earth and out away from the body. Release your fingers and switch your clasp left over right. Clasp the hands, breathe. Fingertips down towards the earth and into your heart. Lower the shoulders, breathe. Fingertips down towards the earth and away from the body. Unclasp your hands. Let your hands roll all the way back to your open. Draw that love into your heart. And then connect pinkies and thumbs back to your lotus flower. Allowing the hands to come together in Anjali Mudra, thumb to sternum. Tilting your chin, softening your gaze. Taking a nice deep breath in. Reminding ourselves to keep our hearts open, open to receive, to speak our truth and speak from the heart, and always to honor that beautiful creative energy from inside. I thank you for joining me today on the mat, which was on the chair today, and Namaste. Have a great day.